Hey -o, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Temptation Spa and Resort created by Zen Rider 420 So, stay tuned, and let's check it out. Alright, this was sent in by a subscriber, ZenRider420. For you and everyone else who's not a part of the Discord family, please go check out the information in the description below and come join us on Discord. We would love to have as many people as possible. We're a growing community of 750 plus now. ZenRider420 says, Yo, how's it going, Johnny5? You featured my Las Vegas trip a while back. That was quite a while back, actually, and I do remember that. This time I have an actual amusement park for you to explore. This one is the Temptation spawn resort a fun getaway perched in the mountain valley the resort originally opened as an adult themed spa and rocked spring break but soon expanded and included an amusement park on the back lot the park includes four roller coasters as well as 33 other rides and attractions the resort features 27 story dual towers connected with sky bridge and has 530 rooms 14 penthouse suites 48 timeshare units three swimming pools a luxurious spa facility tennis court multiple restaurants, a nightclub, and much more. A monorail station is in the west wing of the resort and takes the guests into the park. Just a note, the interiors of large buildings are not done up. Hope everybody likes it, love the channel, and keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Zen Rider. That means a lot to me. So guys, links will be down in the description below if you want to download and check out the park yourself. If you own the game, please follow the link and come drop Zen Rider a rating, a favorite, and a subscription, and all that good stuff. Alright, looks like that's just about everything that I have to say about this. This, so let's just dive right on into the tour. All right, everybody. So here we are at the Temptation Spa and Resort main building. Let's give you guys a bird's eye view. Probably saw it in the panning shots, but holy moly, there's a top down. Definitely a mega park end to end to end to end. That is crazy. Still running decently, surprisingly, with a thousand guests in the park. Now, Mentioned to both Zen Rider and everyone else who's submitting for Park Spotlights, oh. definitely try to limit your guests, if not have them all kicked out for when you upload it, because it had 8,000 guests when I opened it up, and it does take a while to clear them all out. <laughs> Boom, that building is just immaculate. I love how you've incorporated the tower right in between them. Really cool. You did say something about the interiors not being finished, but this one's leading us through. So I think we're just going to stroll on through. Look at that view. 33 rides. <laughs> Look at the DJ. All right. Make. Oh. That is so neat. All right. Let's just jump over the building here. And get on with it. Disco nightclub. Did we just come from here? I think so. I think it's all for show on the outside only. Alright guys, it's time to go get lost. So only four coasters. I much prefer it when people do these parks with like, I don't know, six to eight coasters and less rides and attractions. Simply because we don't really... We don't really go on the flat rides. We all know how those function. Uh, 33 flat rides is quite a hefty amount. And I, I kind of prefer to see a few more coasters instead. But that's quite all right. These coasters, uh, from just doing the shots and stuff, they look pretty darn awesome. And something just kicked me across the ground there. It's a neat looking building. What are these guys doing? Playing with Miss Ellie. Pow, pow, pow. Beautiful towers. Hey, Captain. Hey. Hey, Where are we going? Oh, look at this hot dog squad restaurant. That's pretty cool. Now, m note to uh, Zen Rider: if um, any of these buildings were created by you, definitely upload them to your workshop. Uh, there's also a link to his workshop down in the description below, guys. If you want to go check out what he, what else he's made. As well, he did the Las Vegas Strip, which was a uh, quite a cool park. We featured almost a year ago, I'd say. Love that dome. We're gonna have to take a closer look at that in a sec. We'll 
We'll wrap back around. The Whirly Rag. <laughs> That's got to be one of my favorites. Nice modern uh, ride skin for that. Isotempahovia. <laughs> you can still hear it. Oh, pyramid. Big pyramid, I should say. That's cool. Hard Rock Cafe. He did say the interiors weren't really finished. And if he did, my computer would probably blow up. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Pathos. Love the um, the building design on all your buildings. I like the uh, what's it called? Vinyl plastic. That's actually honestly one of my favorite building sets. I just like how clean it is. It's great for sci-fi. It's also great for modern, as we can see here. I use it for sci-fi. Um, but it definitely gives the best look on the modern stuff. Impulse. I feel like I've seen this building before in somebody's Six Flags park. I'm sure. Six Flags Adventure theme park? Really good job at these ride skins. I like that uh, sign. Oh, I got some go karts. Let's take a look at the track. Whoa, that's a big one. Uh, it's kind of lacking in the decoration department, but the track itself looks pretty cool. I'm kind of excited to give that one a race. Gives me some time to try and catch up and get ahead. I like to start from the, the back. Another great ride skin. Wow. So he said 33 rides, and you can see here all of them have been pretty much customized, except for this one. But even then, it's some rock work around there. Pretty impressive. shops I like the use of the the white vinyl plastic with the wood that's kind of like the planet coaster um, theme not a lot of people do that combination and I'm actually personally excited about getting back into the game myself and actually tackling the planet coaster theme for shops and facilities look at that sundial another great ride skin Ooh, I like that Damn, that's cool. Really well done. Aha! See, like this. Vinyl plastic turned into Cosmic Cow. I want to do some buildings like that myself. Modern shops. That's a cool looking train station. Built right into the resort. Ooh. Swimming pool looks real nice. Absolutely beautiful. That has got to be one of the gnarliest buildings I have ever seen. So much detail in there. Tons of elevation and architectural s designs in it. The windows, I mean, that is seriously breathtaking. Even the apartments. Ooh. 
love it. Okay, I kind of uh, went through it pretty quickly, didn't I? But I feel like we generally covered most of the areas. Just to have a double look around. Definitely some hidden goodies that I miss, like this. Oh, that was the observatory. Got a nice custom ride skin for that, too. He's definitely consistently done the vinyl plastic and modern theme throughout the whole park, and I really like that. Gives you a nice effect. Definitely gives you that spa resort style feeling that he was going for. And I, I love it here as well. This is how the, the vinyl plastic can be used and colored to make uh, to make the theme of the shops pop. Just a little bit of orange and brown. Boom. Really like that shop. Definitely got me inspired to get back in there. Building some shops. That's what I like to build. Boom. All right. Really well done. 15-minute tour, roughly, with... Um, I guess the recording's 15, maybe 10. But quite fantastic. So let's ride some coasters, and maybe we'll even ride this monorail, because I can see it goes around the whole park. That might be a fun little uh, thing to do. I'll check that out last. He said four coasters. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's start off with this guy. So Halo. It's an inverted two-seater BOA. We got a 4.71 Excitement, 2.85 Fear, and a point three two Nausea. There's the rest of the results if you want to see them. And let's get on this. Before we move on, I forgot to check out the park at night. Sometimes we don't have too much nighttime lighting, but this one seems to have a little bit. Holy moly, color bomb. I don't think any of the coasters are well lit for night, so we'll, we'll stick to riding everything during the day. So next up, we got a wooden coaster. Old school, 2.80 excitement, 1.72 fear, and a 0.25 nausea.
All right, next we're gonna be going on a torque launched coaster called the Impulse 4.63 Excitement, 3.35 Fear, and a 0.82 Nausea. Alright, next up we have a looping American Aero Coaster called Zen 6.10 Excitement 3.97 Fear and a .96 Nausea. Thank you. 
Alright, interesting choice to go with a looping arrow coaster and not use any inversions or loops when you could have gone with a Giga or a Hyper Coaster. That's what I would have probably done. Cool nonetheless. And there you go, everybody. Absolutely amazing park today. Temptation Spa and Resort created by Zen Rider 420. And that's going to do it for this episode of Park Spotlight. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button, share on social media. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you guys would like to support the show to keep it going, you can do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye now